Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? It's your boy here, Kelly. So I just thought of like creating a intro video that I want to share with you guys. By the way, I'm here at the top of my place. Pretty much like a rooftop of my apartment. And it's not yet fully organized or feel, um, renovated or whatnot. Here I chill out. Like this steals here. Basically, it's for this. Yeah. <laughs> Around here sometimes especially around 5 in the morning 5 a.m. in the morning because this is where I see the sunrise and pretty much I create build plan uh, my dreams how do I achieve it how do I how do I you know get to where I want to be in life and yeah this is where I meditate as well and solidify you know my self-belief and stuff like that but yeah, man, and it's been one of hell of a ride so far with my life and also for the people that I got the pleasure to work with, share my stories, share my skills. And I was inspired by the massive and a lot of good feedbacks that I got from them. And it really humbles my heart and just only pushes me even more you know, hard to keep on doing what I've been doing so far and then improving it because there's no more satisfying than knowing that you are creating a good impact to the people that you got the pleasure to work with. Especially if they're like literally thanking you because they're literally seeing results so far from what you have shared them. And yeah, so I've been contemplating since the past couple of maybe weeks now to like create a YouTube channel and just share my stories because the one thing that I regret the most is I did not document when I was just like from my humble beginnings, you know, when I was just like a driver, when I was just uh, like hopping from like one job to another job barely making ends meet you know just living off like from like 10,000 to 12,000 pesos per month hindi pa po kasama dyan yung pambayad sa pagkain ko pamasahe mga renta sa bahay and all of those like necessary things I did not documented it because before even though I have that dream but alam nyo yung feeling na parang it's too good to be true to like achieve that kind of dream that you want for yourself but when you focus on those little wins you collect those little wins you slowly build that little confidence and in uh, like as you go along in your journey that little confidence that you build through like every day or like every week it tends to build up to the point that it solid solidifies and you became confident enough that, oh shit, I can really achieve this goal. As long as like I keep being consistent, I stay focused, I stay disciplined, I do not abuse whatever, you know, the high mighty power up above has, gave, has given me and the universe has given me. And yeah. And a lot of people don't believe me that Bisaya lang ako. Hindi ako marunong mag-English noon. Hindi rin ako ga na nanggaling sa tutorial sa English. Ang style ko lang talaga noon is mag-rap ng mga English rap music. Pinaraktis ko lang yung mga diction. And sometimes whenever I have free time, I just like pronounce the words in English. You know, uh, as fluent as I can be, as slang as it can be, but there's no like magic thing or like tutorial that I went through before I became like, you know, somehow a decent English speaker that pretty much a lot of people tend to believe that, hey, where are you from? Like, the, were you born from like US or whatnot? You know, whenever I tell them that, hey, no, uh, I was not born in like US or in a foreign country. I was born in Jensa and grew up in Zamboanga. I'm a Bisaya. I uh, was a college failure and I don't even know how to speak English before and I was like 
um, rejected when I applied for a call center um, job opportunity because I don't know how to speak English that well and I don't know I don't know how to type that fast because when you want to become a employee in the BPO industry you need to at least have a decent English speaking skills and at the same time you need to know how to type that fast like I don't know if like 40 words per minute you need to have like a 40 words per minute level of typing skills so yeah but right now uh, life was fairly good uh, to me at the moment as in um, I'm like like it's one hell of a ride and there's just a lot more th things to you know uh, climb you know mountains to climb and I wanna inspire a lot more people especially those people na who keeps on battle battling their self doubts bro says you can do it no one will believe in you unless you believe in yourself first and that's coming from a person who's a I'm not belittling Bisaya, but I thought before that because I uh, the, the the thing that I regret the most as well was like believe on people na Bisaya ka lang, Bisaya ka lang, wala kang ano, chamba lang yung mga umasenso, ikaw wala, maraming nagsabi sa akin nun. And when you have like a not used, like a strong mentality, you tend to believe that. You know, but it will come to a point that you just get tired of it and just, you know, okay, F you all, I'm going I'm to do, I'm do me, I'm going to do whatever it takes, I'm going to try my shot, and instead of me trying to anchor my future to whatever you guys are saying towards me, I will be one of those people na bisaya, magaling mag English, successful, kahit college dropout. Kaya pa rin successful and it's not even like a new thing to be honest, you know. It's like there's a lot of people like me who have achieved great things already. And I'm surprised right now that I did not see that before. Like I, I was so tunnel vision if that's the right time for it I was like you know um, too focused to focus on whatever other people are saying towards me even though I, I tend to pretend that hey it's not affecting me but in reality it's really do it really does so yeah um, yeah man so what I'm gonna be doing moving forward is create another goal that I want to achieve and I want you guys to join me as well in that ride so that just to show you that you can achieve you can achieve the things that you want to achieve as long as number one you do that triple C that I mentioned what is that triple C courage commitment and consistency you need to have courage to take uh, to Believe in yourself, regardless of whatever, or like what what other people are saying. Kung baluktot ka, baliktad ka English karabo yung pagi English mo doesn't matter. You can learn English and you can be fluent as you can be. Kahit pa medyo maidad ka na doesn't matter. Pagkaginusto mo talagang may paraan. Just believe in yourself. Like so, that's one thing. Number two. You need to learn discipline, man. Discipline is key. Like, even for myself, like, I try to be disciplined, but sometimes I tend not to be, and I punish myself for that. And that's like 100% self-accountability. Because if you don't do that, life will punish you. It's either you punish yourself, or life will definitely punish you for not being disciplined. So, you choose. Okay? And the third thing is be humble enough that you're not better than everybody like anybody but we but be wise enough that you're different from 
everybody and that you're capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. And on on a much more morbid a morbid approach on that, what I want to highlight is be humble enough that you don't have shit, okay? Just accept it. Be humble enough that you are so honest that, okay, I... I'm a person that has a lot of things to work on. Maybe if I look in the mirror, I'm fat. And people are bullying me uh, that I'm fat. Maybe you are definitely fat. And you should tell yourself that you're fat. And you need to lose weight. But be wise enough that you can lose weight. And you can achieve the kind of body that you want to achieve. Because you have all the tools. You have all... You have all the resources that you have. Like, you can definitely do push-ups, do burpees. If you don't know what burpees is, go look it up. B u r p e e s burpees. Do that every freaking day. Um, Thirty burpees, three sets, and maybe twelve push-ups, three sets, or like run. You can definitely lose weight. And if you want to improve your salary, you can definitely do that. There's a lot of um, opportunities online that you can do right and yeah man and as per what the other successful people that i got the pleasure to you know connect and work with it's so much easier to make money online at this day and age and if you're not making six figures online definitely you're missing out so you gotta step your game stop the pity party and do something about it like i'm here for you ma'am and i wish you all the best and i'm a big fan to those people who has been belittled by a lot of like rude people out there but are trying to better themselves and refusing to settle to a mediocre life you know and just follow what I, what the norm are saying to them but instead create that kind of life that they want to build for themselves and for, for the family. Like I'm your number one biggest fan. Okay. So yeah, guys. So my goal right now is become the number one sales uh, closer in the Philippines. <laughs> so yeah, like dream high, right? And get my dream car, which is Ford um, Everest 4x4 automatic titanium. That spin was like my dream car. I don't know what's your dream car, but yeah, I've been like uh, in my family. We haven't really had that kind of like luxury to buy that like brand new under your name. Fresh from the casa. You know, purchased by your own hard earned money. But yeah, so it's going to be again one hell of a ride. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of things in my journey. You know, uh... Like the ups and downs, the struggles. So yeah. And looking forward to seeing you on the other side. Peace and see you on my next video.